What's good, bitches? We're back again with episode two of my Mario Kart Wii Hack Pack playthrough. Today, the, our random generator, which is basically a bunch of slips of paper with the, all the characters and carts names on it, uh, they decided that we are going to be playing today with Wario in the Flame Runner, also known as the Flame Rider in this game, because they want to be quirky. I'm going to do Pro. And the cup we are on today is uh, the Paper Mario Cup with GCN Daisy Cruiser, Music Motorway, GBA Boo Lake, and GBA Peach Circuit, which are all retro tracks. Well, eh, if you want to count Music Motorway, which is the one from Mario Kart 7 as a retro pack. But less bitching, more starting, because I know you want to see the playthrough and not me blab on like a period. Alright, loading screen. And first course is GCN Daisy Cruiser. This is a good ass track. Um, nice view of the ocean and we off. Now I know they opened up the left path if you saw it, um, saw us at the starting line, but I still enjoy taking this path because um, it's just more conducive to um, driving on. I got two red shells for Donkey Kong's hairy ass, and now I am in first. I'm gonna throw this shit backwards, go around the table, get caught in an item box, and see that they opened up a shortcut in that way that has mud on it. I don't know, maybe that, maybe this, maybe Daisy's crew boat has like a spa on it that's like a mud bath or something, but they got a mud path anyways. Drop it, and I'm hella ahead right now, but I just crashed into a wall, so that may not last. There's our. They do this shit on purpose. They drop something that's gonna make you lose your items, like a lightning bolt or a pow block or some crap, and then they hit you with a red shell, knowing that you're defenseless as fuck. See? When you take the left path, you have to like turn after you get off the stairs, and it's annoying as hell. And when they turn off their stairs, they're gonna get an a face full of item box. So, fine by me. Oh, okay. And I crash into a table. That's what my ass get. And Dry Bones is catching up on a bitch, so oh, we got we got to improve our skills. Flame Runner is kind of good here because um, the inside of this uh, boat can be kind of tight, especially when you're um, going in the around that hole. I'll show you again. Oh, okay. I am glad I had a backup. I am glad I had a backup red shell because my ass would have been belonged to Dry Bones that day if he had hit me with the red shell. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, let's finish this course up. All right, we got ourselves a fake ass item box. Um, is it at the base of the stairs again? Cause that was Dry Bones. How's he on my ass? Shake, shake it, shake it, shake it. All right. But yeah, you see that hole? Yeah, it's kind of hard to go around if you're not in a good-ass um, vehicle, like the Flame Runner. Um, and that hole, it, it, you don't actually fall the fuck off, um, but it's just an alternate route, but it takes longer because like, you have to fall down the hole and you have to speed the fuck back up. It's annoying, but eventually you'll find yourself on the path again. But anyways, we got 15 points for our bad selves. And it's time to move on to the next retro track. Which is Music Motorway, also known as Melody Motorway in the UK, or Music Park on Mario Kart 7 if you live in North America, come moi. And this shit is bright as fuck. Alright. I, I really hate that they chose the Yoshi Falls music for this one. I don't know what possessed them to do that. It, it's not fitting. I feel like the Yoshi Fall music is just very... Um, it, it, well, it's okay for Yoshi courses, but not for this, like, course where it's supposed to be all musical and bright and colorful and whatnot. I mean, if I designed the course, I would probably choose, like, the Toast Factory music. Because that, like, Toast Factory, uh, it's very jazzy, it's upbeat, and, you know, like, when this game was in Mario Kart 7... I didn't particularly li like the music for it either. Um, I actually don't have Mario Kart 7, but I've seen people play through it um, on YouTube and shit, so. I just didn't like the music either. It was just really dopey and corny. 
Anyways, I like taking this shortcut. And it's a minute long. I feel like a lot of a lot of these um, retro courses get stretched the fuck out when we put them on Mario Kart Wii. And I'm not sure if that's just like to make the game mechanics easier or just to I don't know what it is, but like they just feel a little dragged out is what I'm saying. And I don't really like that. And again, Dry Bones is on this ass. And I missed him. Alright, let's tricks. Oh, and we skip all of those? I might, I might have to trick more often. Alright. I mean, I know tricking, if it's not on a boost ramp, kind of slows you down. But, like, I don't know about all that. Because it seems to skip hella keys for me. Oh, hell no. Oh, but I still got the item box, hey. And it gave me three bananas, even though Drabone is ahead of this ass. Throwing bananas ahead doesn't do crap in this game. Like, your aim is always off. It's so annoying. Now, something that's cool here... Oh, never mind. But, like, the last time I was on this, I was in a cart. And I didn't exactly get on the road. But I didn't fall off because, like, between that gap and the, um, the gap between the tambourine and the road, there's... It's weird. It's like an invisible surface that you can actually drive on. I don't know. Maybe... Uh, Alright, well, at least I'm ahead of Dry Bones, even though he seems to perpetually be on this ass. This fat ass Mario ass. Avoid the red shell. I actually do not like red shells in this game because they never seem to be accurate. They always are crashing on a corner or some crap. Which is good for you if you're one being chased by it, but not so good if you're like, um, the one throwing it and trying to get the fuck ahead. Well, Dry Bones is way the hell back. But yeah, as I was talking about, um, there, uh, the gap between the tambourine and this road here, um, you can actually drive on it, I think, if you just happen to be on it. If you don't happen to make it. Because the car's not good. But anyways, even though Dry Bones got in this ass a little bit, we still managed to come in nine seconds ahead of his basic ass, his dry ass. So let's just go into the next race with our bad self. GBA Boo Lake. Alright. I don't really like these ghostly boardwalk courses. They're just meh and plain. And then the music. It's so boring. It's like not having music at all. But you know, out of all of them, this one isn't so bad. And it's cool, because like there's a shortcut coming up. And it cuts off Hella time. It's right the fuck over here. Let's take it. And see, you cut off that entire corner. I'm not sure why Mario Kart Super Circuit made that shortcut. Or maybe, I don't know. I've never played Mario Kart Super Circuit. I've only played Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart Wii. And all of these uh, custom tracks. But yeah, I don't know if that shortcut was originally in Mario Kart Super Circuit or not. But if it was, that's just like, I can't believe Nintendo would create such a huge shortcut on purpose. Either way, I'm just going to drop these items because I have no competition. Like, who's behind me right now? Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, it's a little hard taking that shortcut, though. The actual shortcut itself isn't hard, but um, just like turning off of it, it's a lot of shit in the way you have to be wary of. And I'm completing these courses and... They're Okay, okay, I could have fallen the fuck off, and I mean, I probably still could have stayed in first, because like, I'm far as hell ahead, but it could, it could have been worse, like, I'm thankful that I did not fall the fuck off, alright, just a little bit more, cow block, alright, oh. see what I mean, like, you, you stay crashing into that wall, if you're not good, like, I low-key suck at this game, but uh, everyone else I know sucks too, so I'm, I'm not lonely. And avoid banana, and throw that shit backwards, and we good. Alright. So far, so good. Um, these, I've noticed something that, like, these courses are kind of easy in the, um, in the beginning. 
like towards the um, like the earlier cups in this game tend to be easier than the later cups. Like you'll see what I'm talking about. I remember this course from it being a retro track in the DS. And again, it's just another mad course. And I can't believe my fat ass got bumped off the damn road. I really do hate that. I, like, weight seems to be so immaterial in this game. Like, being heavy as hell does not guarantee that you'll not be bumped the fuck around by other characters. It's frustrating, because it's like, I'm Wario, I'm a fat ass bitch, I should not be getting, um, I should not be getting flung around all here like I'm a light bitch on ice, like I'm Peach, or Dry Bones or Toad, like, I'm fat, like, give me some stability, hell no, but either way, this lap is finishing up quick as shit, like, under 30 seconds for a lap, I can deal, I know it's slightly shorter in the DS version. And no, I ain't get done. Oh, shit. Okay. Damn. I know I kind of slowed down to go around it, but better to circum... Damn it. See, don't... All right. Well... Oh, come on. All right. If I just wheelie, I should be able to get rid of him. All right. I didn't get him, but at least I got him first. All right. Okay, so 60 points, not bad. I have to say though, I have a rule. Like, if I get 60 points in a Grand Prix, it's usually not that fun. But, eh, I don't know. This is kind of fun, but you'll see. And I got an A, not bad, but again. I feel like in order to truly have fun, you're, you're not gonna get 60 points, because it's just like, eh. that means it was too easy. Well, end of episode two, au revoir.